Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all is going well for you. Welcome to Get Jack. Now today we're here in Ancestors, a brand new survival game, and it definitely feels like that. It definitely feels like you're trying to survive. That is that is one thing that you definitely notice right off the bat in this game. It is not going to hold your hand. You have to do everything yourself. You have to get through all these encounters with zero or maybe a little bit of help, maybe a little tip here or there, but it doesn't show you anything, how to craft anything, what to do uh, with your environment and stuff. You have to figure it out yourself. And these are the kind of games that I love. So I'm excited to take you through this. This is about the first eight hours or so of my gameplay with it. I've cut it down to all, you know, the craftables, ways that you can get away from, you know, the, the dangerous wildlife and a whole bunch of other awesome things so if you're just here for tips i um, trying to figure out how to get through the beginning part of the game or if you want to just see the playthrough and wait till it's out on console because it's you know coming out in a few months for that um definitely stick around for the series because this is gonna be a good one it's a good game there's a lot to it okay i'm just making it out of the kind of hallucination area this is if you're a small monkey and you're kind of far away from your your group you're gonna get that overlay but I'm actually just climbing up to where the group is you can find them by using Y to identify so you can identify kind of the surroundings you can either search for a hiding spot at this point or you can go up to the village yourself I'm an independent monkey I'm heading up there must all right he's no help I guess we uh, continue on is this something I should identify? Okay, I don't think we're supposed to be identifying things yet. We need to make it into the city. So we've climbed up top. Without any help from anyone. Alright, we're here. We've done it. We lost our parent. Or, I, I don't know if it was our mom or our dad, but we made it. Okay, so... We've made it here, and now we need to just kind of identify everything in the surrounding area. I'm just going to go around just, you know, figuring out what all this stuff is. We've got... Those ones are actually just symbols of people in our group. So, we'll, we'll leave them, but we need to identify all these other ones as well. Alright, I've got a little bit of everything gathered. Kind of all the basic resources from the area. We've got some branches... Um, three types of rocks, basalt, granite, and obsidian. And then we can kind of search around here. There is food around this area, too, that I, I've seen, like, berries and things like that. Okay, we are we don't need to identify that. But another thing that we need to do, if you're like me and you first came up here as a baby instead of going to a hiding place, we need to actually go out back into that kind of hallucination hallucina hallucination zone and uh, actually hide again. Because, look at this, this is beautiful. Because our parent has to come find us so that we can actually use our parent. But I do want to just get a little bit of everything, gather all the basic stuff so that we can start putting tools together. Okay, we're out in the no man's land. I also got some fiber as well. I hope he brings it back um, with him after I hide. But so, so what you want to do is we got to go to this kind of hiding place that we've identified. And we're going to hide in this. Okay, so if you get lost out there as a, as a child, basically, boom, here we are. <laughs> All right, we're an adult now. So now we've taken, you can take control of any of the monkeys in your kind of crew. And now we have to go search for our little one with this guy. Should be easy though. Okay, so once we get here, um, it took me a little bit of time to figure this out, like what I was supposed to do, but you actually need to comfort him. So. It's okay, so that's not you have to you have to get it in time. You have to get it in time. There. It's a little bit of a longer pause than I thought. Okay, so see, yeah, see. I was I was 
pushing it too uh, early at first. But there we go, we've got our our little one. Now, you might have started out with this if you're playing through this as well, but I actually went up to the civilization first. Okay, now that we've got this guy, we need to head back and we can start uh, getting to business. Alright, we made it. Luckily we weren't attacked. I don't even want to bring this guy around. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna lose him. I did find a berry in the tree too, and I think I think I'm starting to nod off. I'm pretty sure is what this uh <laughs> this is telling me. So we need to take a little nap. This is the the bed that you have. And you start with this in your settlement. There's two of them. All right, we've rested. We need water bad. Water's actually pretty easy. Food isn't as easy. So water, I actually um, identified this earlier. I don't know, I don't think I can identify it again. But basically you come right up to the, the water and you can scoop it and then identify it while it's in your hand. I'm just gonna eat some berries though because I need food too and these are here. So right on this bush, you can actually get some easy berries. Nice and simple. All right, we're, we're making our neural network here. So I'm getting this one, ability to switch hands. Um, basically it makes it so you can craft tools. So you need to be able to eat, like hold both hands or hold things in both hands to be able to make something out of them. So you definitely need that. And now we can switch hands um, to have both of them. So let's, let's see here. Take this, got a branch, and I'm thinking that, honestly, I w I'm thinking, you know, fire. That's the first place that I want to go. Hit two things together to make fire, but... Okay, I haven't been able to make sparks or fire or anything like that. That's what I was trying for at first, but now we can make... I gave it a little shot a second ago. We can actually make... Spears or sticks. Oh, 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 the chime. There you go. I wasn't pulling it back far enough. My bad. So you wait for that chime. It still takes a lot of hits. All right. We need some form of protection, though. There we go. A grant rock can alter a dead branch. Okay. Okay, so we can't um, hit them together for flint, or sorry, like a flint for sparks or something like that. But is there a ch actually there's a chime for this in there? There is. I was I just not pulling it back far enough. So we got a basalt and we've got a granite here. Come on. Jeez. Okay, alright. What is this thing? Gotta switch hands. Okay, we've, we already know that that is basalt, my man. Sorry, you know, it's a controller. You gotta eat. It's recommended you use a controller, so it's a learning process for some of us PC players. All right, we've got a granite grinder. Not sure what we can use it for, but we've got our first two tools. There we go. Okay, I forgot to identify this one. Make sure once you craft something, you identify it. Stick. <laughs> we've identified the stick. All right. Granite grinder, stick. Two down. Is that question mark moving? Oh, it's a snake. I hope that's not the noise of a snake. It's not what a snake sounds like. Hope, we'll just hope that's a background. Something in the background. Alright, we're gonna stay away from that. So you can identify a circle with a question mark. So we're going to stay away. Wait, it's telling me to intimidate. Oh, okay. He was actually coming at me. 
Even though I didn't see it. Okay. Okay, I got close enough to this. Okay. <laughs> Identifiable. And it's a landmark. Okay, so some of the ones out in the distance that you're not able to identify right away are going to be the... Okay, they're going to be like different zones and stuff. I've been going through here for quite a while too. I just didn't notice that hovering above me, but make sure you grab the discoveries then. All right. You can actually use the different tools um, and it actually registers as using them. Say if you're, hol I think if you're holding like a stick or something that'll be more intimidating than maybe a frond, but definitely try and carry something. Um, the snake was scared away without anything at first, but he takes a couple to actually keep him away. Okay, okay, it's a new day. We've got, uh, let me grab some water here quick. So th I don't think I showed this before. It's nice and easy. I think you do want to identify uh, if you're in different areas trying to drink the water, but here it's definitely, definitely good for drinking. And then also, you're going to want to stock up on these as well. You can see the little buff in the bottom left. Um, these horse tails are really good. They actually give you, that's actually a defense against uh, fall damage. And if you have taken fall damage and you're you know taking damage from that you can just eat these and it'll kind of negate that which is pretty awesome oh actual fruit there's actual fruit up in the trees And this one actually, okay, so it looks like the different foods give you different buffs, uh, depending on what they are. I haven't seen this buff before, so I can't actually be positive as to what that one is. Alright, I got this fiber when I was out and about too, so we might as well check that out to see <laughs> see what this is going to give us um, for a buff. Oh, okay, you actually have to hold it longer. So you can find these fibers up in the trees, obviously. So that's actually uh, bleed, um, bleed resistance. So this is going to be like a, a band-aid, probably, um, repairing bleed. All right, there's a beehive in this back part, and there's something up here, too. So this is right above our little... This looks good. This looks important. <laughs> this is right behind our little oasis, kind of up the, up the ledge, if you follow the waterfall. Emerald. I don't know why we need an emerald, but there is building. Um, we'll be able to build some little structures and stuff like that. Maybe we can incorporate it into that or something. It is a spiritual achievement. So maybe we can use it in, in worship. The emerald is our first god. Okay, more stuff actually. All right. I wanted to try this. There were these liftable rocks and I need to try the stick. It looks like it looks like this. Um hello? Did I miss something on that? Okay, that's definitely the use for a stick though. Alright. There's actually a bunch of these liftable rocks right around here. I wasn't sure what uh what I was supposed to do to get rid of them, but we figured it out guys. Alright, stick. I had an extra. I'm just trying to stock up on stuff because, uh, yeah, I've been breaking things like just like that. <laughs> There's no, uh, you don't know. I don't know. I think I have to listen for a chime. Oh yeah, that was fa it was fast. It's a fast, like very light chime. But look at that. What are these rocks? Mushrooms. These are mushrooms. Another food source, possibly. Let's identify it. Okay. Let's eat it. <laughs> Alright, maybe... Well, it gives you a, a defensive buff, but it also... 
I'm assuming maybe it's rotten or needs to be cooked or something like that. But I'm just I'm just gonna eat it. Because it's actually helping my food. You see the my stamps going up actually, so it must be better than it is bad, if that makes sense. Okay, I wanna know if all of these are mushrooms or if there's like a, a chance of getting something else, you know what I mean? That is a fast chime. Alright. Uh mushrooms. Rocks. Look at this. We can get other stuff. That's awesome. This one's a little further away from the our area. Maybe it depends on like a, maybe it's a regional thing. All the ones by like our base camp were mushrooms. I don't need this rock right now, but we can come back for some basalt later. That is what this this one is right. Okay, we're a little bit further out. We're bringing the, the child. It's actually better to have them on your back. It gives you better... Uh, it, it, it makes you able to advance certain things in the neurology tree. Okay, this is obsidian. That's really good. So if you follow the river all the way down where it turns into a swamp, pretty much right at the edge is obsidian, which is good for me. Oh, I can actually sharpen my stick further with obsidian. I needed obsidian because I accidentally broke both at base trying to figure out what they were used for. But it looks like we found out what they're used for. Gee, I'm hitting it on the chimes. And it is... It's difficult to cut this. You're definitely not going to be sharpening a stick in a, in a hurry. Okay, let me... No, you already know what that is. We need to identify the, the stick. Come on. Oh god. I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> what horrible timing. I dropped my stick, man. I dropped my stick in my obsidian. We need to get that. We need to get that back. <gasps> is he actually coming up here? Wow. He just jumped down, I'm pretty sure. Okay, they're not easy to evade. They're not easy. It's not just a <laughs> hide around the corner type thing. Alright, what's our play now? I need to get that stick back. I need to lure this thing away. And then we need to get that sharpened stick back. I need the obsidian too. is coming up here too. Wow. There's a boar. I, okay, so he gave me the bleed damage. That means we're going to have to get the the fiber out of the, the top of one of these trees to heal ourselves. Because, yeah, my vitality. So, the more uh, kind of dangerous things, or I guess... Dangerous statics, status effects you have, such as water loss, getting bleed, or anything like that, is going to lower that, that outer bar and not allow to allow me to get stand back very fast. So we need to get this uh, repaired quickly. I want to get that stick because I feel like I'll forget where, forget where it was. I don't see him. Okay, that was close. I, I did get the stick back. He's still on the on the chase. I'm gonna learn this while we've got it. And we need to get back quick. Okay. I've got fiber. I had it at base, so I just ran here as quickly as possible because I didn't want to search in the trees. Risk getting more hurt. But yeah, I'm pretty hurt. This I don't, We might have to just use another guy. This guy's pretty injured. Okay, I'm trying to grow out into kind of like the carrying and walking. I feel like that's going to get us kind of progressing into, you know, humankind a little quicker, you know what I mean? So now we can carry large objects. Okay, there's a, there's a dead, uh, I don't know, 
I don't know. There's just a dead something up here. Oh, it's a dead monkey. Probably from our tribe. I didn't lose this one, guys. I promise. Okay, so. If we come in... Oh, they're eggs. I would rather this bird not come back for me. <laughs> if it's actually killing monkeys. I was uh, grabbing some fiber, but... I'm gonna probably just grab this egg. I think this is gonna be a little bit more rare. Okay, that also gives you kind of like the poison and no benefit. So... Analyzing the corpse. Okay, so this is just gonna give me neuronial energy. Is that what it, is that what that says? Neuronial? Okay, I brought two eggs back with us. I'm still trying to figure out what this grinder is here for. I got this stick. Um, basically, if you take the leaves off of the frond, uh, you can just um, interact with it by itself. You don't have to use any object. You just use your hands and you pull it off to get that stick, this little green stick. Still got to figure out what this little green stick's used for. I was thinking maybe skewering something, <laughs> you know, maybe cooking with it. But we need fire. There's an option to groom each other as well. Okay, I'm not getting uh, another chime, another chime minigame. I'm not understanding this one. Oh, you want to wait exactly till it chimes, okay. Makes sense. Couple formed? Well, that's how you get uh, breeding pairs as well. There we go. That, I mean, we got to keep the, the lineage going, you know? That is uh, definitely necessary. <laughs> so we've got some, some mated pairs. You can rename them too. Oh, actually, I do want to do that. I don't, I don't know about these names that they've chosen for us. Oh, it's like a random thing. I don't... Oh, that's sad. I can't actually name them. They kind of have their own. <laughs> okay, that was an accident, but... <laughs> okay. I kind of rolled into it. This is a heavy object. This is one of the only things that I couldn't figure out how to discover in this area. So, the thorn bush. This is the last thing in kind of like your basic area. That I wasn't sure what like what to do with, so that's cool. You need the ability to carry large objects for that. So we might actually be able to make this into like a barrier or something eventually. When we can craft and build kind of structures and stuff, so that's a that's a good thing to know. What about the boar? Is that thing uh, aggressive? He doesn't seem aggressive. Oh it's aggressive. Okay. Giant, giant warthog. That was probably, probably a bad idea. But it just didn't seem like he was coming at me. Okay. Oh, now he actually gives the broken bone um, status effect the same as what you would have if you fell. Okay, you can't clear up the the broken bone with the flak or with the fiber. I tried it. Oh no! Oh no no! What? Was that luck? Were they both coming at me? They must have they must have both been coming after me at the same time, guys. That's amazing. So that's how we take out How are we gonna take him out? There is an alligator. We need to get rid of this lion. There's a snake. Look at that freaking giant snake. That's not the same as the small green one. This one is a that's a massive snake. We need to get the uh, horse tails to cure our broken bone ailment here. Hopefully we can get away from this lion. Okay, so horse tails. We are good. So horse tails to, uh, to clear up the boar. If I were to clear up the lion attacks, definitely going to need that. So I kind of ran out of stam like halfway up this cliff face. And oh no. Oh, don't do that. 
And it just kept letting me go. I thought it was thought I could make it to the top. The settlement was right up there. Okay. We had our first casualty, guys. Don't don't run yourself out of stam. Has that question mark been there that whole time? I swear I've been I swear I've been keeping an eye out on that. A cutscene? Okay. So it was just like seeing the other <laughs> landmark. I must have just missed that at the beginning. Okay, that cutscene actually triggered a second cutscene, so maybe that wasn't there before. Because there's now a meteor coming down, I think. Okay, so a meteor crashed in the jungle. Alright, this is our next next objective, guys. We need to see what's we need to see what's in that. Okay, so this is actually a unknown zone. For even adults. It even scares adults to be in here. And there's a boar right by the meteor crash, so. <gasps> no 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 no. No 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 no. That's an alligator. A crocodile, sorry. We gotta get out of this zone before our dopamine drops too low. That's gonna be when that bar on the very left goes all the way up, but we're okay, we're out. Okay, I came back in to try and get that meter. I don't think we're gonna make it this time though. Please don't die from this. Okay, so you don't die from the low dopamine, you just get sent back to base. So we definitely don't want to do that again, because it takes a while to get here, but also it's, it's nice that you don't like die from that, because that would really suck. Okay, we're doing this, we're doing this. Come on, Boar. Come on. Come on, man. You know you want to... You know you want to eat me? I don't know why you'd want to, because Boars don't eat meat, but you know, it is, you know, whatever. Maybe you shouldn't have wanted it. Yes! Oh, yes. You don't know how much I hated that boar. Well deserved, well deserved. Now, what do we do with the crocodile, though, is the question. He's he's kind of, like, been going back into the center of the pond. After he aggroes, so I'm, I'm gonna kind of back off. We'll let our dopamine... Oh, our, our dopamine's really high, actually. We need to get back out of this. We're really close. We just gotta go to the light. Alright, we're in the light. Okay, let's just let this run down and I'm intimidating something. Oh, there's a snake up there. The snake's up there. Okay. Everything's gone. We've got it. We've got whatever the meteorite sent down. Oh my gosh, that was a process. Yes, guys. What is this thing? Okay, I came to where the uh, the obsidian is. I want to be safe, you know? Meteorite. Okay, it's just a meteorite. Like, that's the actual meteor. Alright. Um, that, kind of, that was... That was, a, that was a cool little play on words. Anyway, obsidian. Let's try the obsidian with it. I feel like this is how you make fire. Come on, you hit these together, make fire. Give me fire. That That's what's really going to... Oh, no, no, no. It didn't ding. It didn't ding, so it doesn't do anything. If it doesn't ding, it doesn't react. Trust me, I've broken enough rocks to figure this out. There it was. Okay, but I, went, I, I was already too far, and I don't want to break it. Oh! <gasps> I just hit the wrong button. Oh my god, what have I done? What have I... What a... Okay, I c we can fix... No, not the time. You gotta be kidding me. You've... This is not the time for this. No. We cannot lose that thing, dude. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize already. I'm gonna fix this. We'll 
I hate this lion. Okay. I've got a score to settle here. Okay, maybe he saw me a little too soon. Oh no. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna try and intimidate him with the pointed stick, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I can try it now. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do it. Snake! Snake! Wake up, dude! I know it's nighttime. Alright, this is it. This is it. We have to do it. We have to risk it. Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I thought he went for me. Yes! That lion is gone finally guys yes don't worry we've got our meteorite <laughs> i found it don't worry with no lying around it feels good okay so we can actually make obsidian into obsidian scraper so i'm assuming an upgraded granite scraper there's got to be more uses for this meteorite it's got to produce fire for me, guys. I'm just kidding. Okay. So there's the mate option. Should we do it again just, just to make sure that it took? We'll do it one more time. How tasteful. Just goes right up into the sky. And now we'll go to sleep. But there, I guess you, I guess once you've paired up, you have that mate option on the beds now. Okay, so I found a use for our green stick. I know you all were wondering, you just couldn't wait to figure out what the stick was for. If I can get up here, I've got almost no stam. My uh, entire group is very close to, very close to their their end here with old age okay we can just gather the honey right like that with the stick and we've got food awesome <laughs> look at that easy food source right here I, I didn't know what to do with the the beehive I thought you had to like knock it down with a spear or something but look at that It's not really helping me since I'm so close to the end. You know, I can enjoy my life because it's we're going to have to like go to the next generation. So basically we can pass to the next generation and I think that kind of clears our older generation and brings out our babies, but we're going to get into that in the next time. We're going to be getting into kind of the next step and how we kind of move forward. Let me give this. Can I Actually, can I give this to another? I can give it to him. Will you eat this? Because you actually have to go... I actually noticed... You have to go to each individual monkey and you need to use them uh, on the daily. Because you need to actually feed them and water them. Even though they come up to you in the stream and drink with you when you, like, go there to drink. They don't actually go up in water. So you have, you have to go and do it manually for each um, one of them. So you gotta, kinda have to keep switching between them, you know what I mean? He's not eating this, so uh, I'm gonna. All right, I think this is actually working. So this is a use for the, for the grinder, the granite grinder. Probably the obsidian one too. I think I missed the chime. Can I just like stop and then it's done? Oh, okay. He just grinds it up in his hand. So this might actually be better. I don't know. This is actually a pretty good food source. So maybe the, the paste is just better. I'm trying to walk as much as I can. Because if you walk on two legs, it actually improves your motor neurology as well. So you definitely want to do that. I am, as you can tell, I'm kind of dragging by. All my guys are sadly so old and injured. We need to move on to the next evolution. But 
that's for next time. We've got all of our tools. We've got quite a bit of stuff here. I'm just gonna identify this so that we get our, it's like paste or? Horsetail paste, all right, we'll hold on to that. We'll probably just use that for when we've got, I hope we have can have like a, a pack or something to start carrying this stuff around, you know what I mean? Because having to come back to base or search for stuff to heal us when we're out and about, um, that's kind of like the, the biggest hindrance. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, I made this bed by, I got the building skills so that you can kind of add things together to be built. And I did a bunch of fronds and we have our own bed, a homemade one that the game didn't provide us. So that's where we're gonna stop for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. We're gonna be doing a lot of this. I can't wait to jump back in and get into it and uh, kind of see where we're going next. So hope you enjoyed. If you did hit that thumbs up button for me and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great day and of course, we'll catch you next time.